Yeah, hello and welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm. Today we're going to be doing some slurry spreading because my no my local uh, machinery sales and repairs have now took on another brand, as you can see called uh, I think you spell it uh, say it Dang Dangreville. Hopefully I ain't butchered the name. Dangreville, lovely tanker. I just put like a couple of loads on my field this morning and uh, been in and had some breakfast and uh, decided I must just check the chickens before I get back on the, the slurry spreader. As you can see we're getting quite a few eggs now which is keeping the boy happy. We'll just Check like sure they're okay. That's them sorted out. We're back to early spring again on the farm. We had a good harvest, the crops yielded. Yielded well. Uh, so let's go on there. Have some fun and spread some slurry. I think they did say a minimum of 200 horsepower to pull a slurry tanker, but uh, I've got this. This is 350 nearly, I think, this JCB tractor. The main reason we have the faster tra tractor is got is because um, we haul a lot of the the crops and stuff over the winter months. To our local mills and that, so um, that works out cheaper. To use our, use a tractor. Obviously we only sell when demand is very high. We'll just finish this little piece up in the corner here, tidy that up. It's a funny shape field this one. There you go, it's a bit turned, tidied up. Got the big tyres on. That's got quite a wide spread on it. You can actually put a um, boom on the back if you'd like one. But I always think if you just have a the liquid just spread and don't have a boom, that's a lot more easier if you're, you know, got a few objects at the ground in the field. What I love about it is why they've got the gauge there on the front, the tube, so you can see how full the tanker is. So we've got some funny shape fields about here, but this is the worst. This is the worst shape. Mm. 
We actually did name it Dog Dog Shape Field. Dog Leg. Dog Leg Field we named it. Because there's a shape of it. We've certainly got chickens on the farm at the moment though. We're looking at that. We're looking at probably uh, getting sheep first. There's the next animal we're going to get on the farm. It's going to be a gradual process. We've got plenty of... We managed to get plenty of silage, straw, and hay. And we've got that all under cover, so that's, that's well protected. And... Uh, So we're going to be right for total mixed rations and high enough for the sheep. So I'm glad we've got that all sorted out. It's certainly a funny shaped field. Definitely don't want to be putting any on the road. I don't think the local highways department would be very, very happy about that one.
Not much to do now, we nearly finished that. I think we're going to quite have enough slurry to finish the field. Oh well, I think I put a jinx on. I said we weren't going to have enough. I didn't know if we'd have another so open, we can do. We haven't quite got enough, so I'm now going to pop back to the farm and get some more. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like or comment below. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we much appreciate it, and I shall catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.